last example, we're going to use that angle bisector theorem because we have an angle bisector. And so I know in my angle bisector, it splits these two sides in the same proportion as 30 to 25. The only issue is I don't have an expression for j to h. I know the whole length is x. So what do I do for j to h? Well, if the whole length is x, I know gj plus jh equals x. Maybe I should write that down. So gj plus jh equals x. Or 12 plus jh equals x. So if I subtract 12 from both sides, jh is going to be x minus 12. So I'm going to say x minus 12 is j to h. Now let's write a proportion. And I like my x in the numerator, so I'm going to go x minus 12 is to, we'll go 12. As 25 is to 30. So I will divide both sides, my numerator and denominator, not, not both sides, my numerator and denominator by 5, so I'm working with simpler numbers. So 25 divided by 5 is 5. 30 divided by 5 is 6. And I'll use equivalent fractions again. Notice, if I take 6 times 2, I get 12. So in other words, 5 times 2 is 10. So my equation is x minus 12 equals 10. Well, to solve for x, we'll add 12 to both sides. And x is 22. And that's the length of our whole shape. j to h, notice that would be 10.